Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's recipe video, I am gonna be sharing four family meals with you all. These are all meals that I obviously feed my own family. So we love them and I really hope you will enjoy them too. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. You guys know how much I love HelloFresh because I show it in so much of my wider content too. Um, but I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail on HelloFresh for those of you who maybe haven't heard of it before or if you haven't used them for 12 months or more I have a great discount code for you to use if you look on screen here you'll see the little QR code and if you scan that it'll take you straight over to the HelloFresh website that will also have my discount code already included onto it so that you can just go through make your meal selections decide how many people you want the boxes to feed we obviously get it for four people and they're perfectly portioned every single time so there's no waste as well which I love about it so if you use Weltdale24 at checkout, you'll get 60% off your first box with HelloFresh and then 20% off your next two months of boxes with HelloFresh. Plus, you get free gifts. We get goo pots with ours, and I absolutely love them. My offer applies to anyone who's a new customer, but also, like I said, those who canceled their membership 12 months or more ago. So if you fancy giving them a go, then it's definitely worth taking advantage of my discount code. I feel like they just seamlessly kind of slot into our week because we have three meals that get delivered to our front door every single week and then all I need to do is think about four other meals for us to eat in the week. So in my box this week, um, this is actually what I'm gonna be making tonight, this teriyaki salmon poke bowl style. That looks so good, I absolutely love a poke bowl so I can't wait to show you that. Um, we have got some pan fried halloumi and pesto drizzle and then we've also got one of their super quick, this is a 15 minute meal. This is a chipotle pork couscous bowl which looks looks amazing. HelloFresh actually do do loads and loads of um, super quick meals which are definitely worth getting on those evenings where the kids come home late from school or you're working or if they've got clubs and you just need to whip something up super quickly and um, that's not necessarily pasta so yeah that is a good one as well so what I'll do this will be my first recipe actually I'll just use um, this so I'll turn the camera around I'll show you all the ingredients I have to make this poke bowl and I'll also take you through step by step how to do it and then like I said I have three more recipes that we have had recently that I want to share with you that I really hope you're going to enjoy so with all that said let's just get straight on into this video and here are four delicious family recipes okay so here are all the ingredients that I need for this meal laid out so like I said this is what I am making teriyaki salmon poke bowl and um, what I've got here is some salmon I've got some rice kiwi I like this addition I would have put avocado in here but this is, um, yeah, this is gonna be different and nice. I have got some sugar snap peas, I've got chili, lime, spring onions, and some teriyaki sauce. So the great thing about the HelloFresh meals is if you turn the card over, you'll see, it just gives you step-by-step -step guide as to how to make this. And then if you need any other goods, like they have the pantry things that they ask you to use from home, then they have it quite clearly marked out. So I just need to use some olive oil for my salsa and some water for the rice, that's the only thing and then you just go along for four people and it tells you the quantities that you need. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is getting my rice onto the hob with water in it and I'm going to cook that through. I'll actually link the video down below in my description box of how I cook my rice because I feel like I cook it really well that it's just so easy, it becomes fluffy rice every single time I make it. While that's cooking through, I'll be making up my salsa. So I'll just peel my kiwi and chop it up. I'll also cut up my red chilies and my spring onion and then I'll half the lime and I will just squeeze half of the juice into the bowl too. Mix everything together with some olive oil and salt and pepper until it is nicely combined. Just set that to one side and then you want to start cooking up your salmon. So I'm just gonna fry that on both sides and making sure that my skin goes nice and crispy. And then I will just take my skin off but set that to one side and flake my salmon up. I'll also then halve the sugar snap peas and I'll be cooking them up in some oil and some garlic. 
until those are a little bit cooked through, but we do like to have them a little bit al dente too. Once I've flaked my salmon and I've set my skin aside, I'll be adding in the teriyaki sauce to my flaked salmon. And then it's simply time to construct and put everything together. So I'll put some fluffy rice on the bottom. I'll have some of my teriyaki salmon on the side, my salsa and my garlicky sugar snap peas. And that is our dinner for today. It smells absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to try this. So for dinner tonight, we are going to be using up some leftovers. We had a roast at the weekend, we had roast chicken, and this was the leftover chicken from that. So I'm going to be making like spaghetti carbonara, but using chicken instead. I used to make this all the time and the kids absolutely love it. It's really, really delicious. Um, and usually I would add in some peas to this, but I don't have any. So I've got this, um, kale it's a carvolo nero kale and if i just dice it up quite small the kids don't mind it in this at all but they would prefer peas so what i've got here like i said is i've got leftover chicken i've got some spaghetti i've got creme fraiche chicken stock um, parmesan cheese and my kale this is literally going to take me 10 minutes to make so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a pot of water and bring it up to the boil and then i'll put my spaghetti in there and just cook that through. While that's cooking, I'll just heat through my chicken and once that has heated through, I'll add in my chicken stock along with some of the starchy pasta water from my pot. I'll then add in my creme fraiche as well, plus my thinly diced um, kale as well. Mix everything together and make sure it's all nicely combined. Add some salt and pepper to taste too. And then once your spaghetti is cooked, you then just want to drain it off and then add it into your creamy chicken sauce. All that's left to do then is to dish up. And how we like to serve this is with a generous grating of Parmesan on the top. Super simple dinner, but it always goes down like a treat. So tonight we are having loaded nachos. So we've actually got some people coming over for dinner as well. So I'm going to double up on quantities here. Um, so what I've got is two big bags of the cool Doritos, two fajita mixes. I've got two packs of mints. So obviously you can see I'm doubling everything here. Then I've got guacamole, red onion, cheese, sour cream and salsa. So these are so, so easy to make. And you can make the topping well in advance as well. And then just put it all together when your guests arrive. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to dice up my red onion and then I'm going to get it into a pan with some oil and then just fry that off for a few minutes until it's gone a little bit soft. Then I'm going to add in my beef mint and brown that off. Once that's browned, I'll add in my fajita mix. I'm also going to add in two tins of chopped tomatoes, which I completely forgot to show you at the beginning. And this is going to make such a nice um, kind of fajita chili mix to go on top. You can add in here some um, red kidney beans if you'd like to. You can add in some um, marmite as well, which adds a really delicious taste to this, but I'm just keeping it super easy this evening. Then once that's cooked, you can either just keep a lid on it and then just set it to one side until you're ready to construct, or if you're ready to construct straight away, then what you just want to do is get a oven proof dish Lay some of your Dorito chips in, just half of them at first. Then I'm gonna add in a layer of cheese over the Dorito crisps, then another layer of the crisps. Then I'm gonna to top it off with my beef mince. I'm going to be very generous with this. And then I will put some grated cheese on top of that again. Pop this into the oven on 180 degrees centigrade for about 15 to 20 minutes or until your cheese has gone lovely and golden brown on the top. Once that's finished, you then want to take it out of the oven and top this with a generous amount of guacamole, your sour cream and some salsa blobs. And then all that's left to do is serve up and enjoy. So this is going to be a veggie meal and we're going to be having egg fried rice. So what I have done here is I've cooked up some rice. I've already added my rice recipe down into my description box for the HelloFresh meal. So I just cook it that way every single time. So what I've got here, some spring onions. I've got um, kale, four cloves of garlic. So I feel like it needs to be quite garlicky. And then I've got a red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, soy sauce. I've got this, which is chili puree. It's so good. It just adds a little 
bit of extraness to your meal. Oh, this wasn't in frame. Toasted sesame seed oil, and then I've only got three eggs, so that'll have to do. Uh, so what I'm gonna do for this meal is, I've already cooked up the rice, as you would have seen. So what I'll start off by doing in my wok is I'll pop a little bit of toasted sesame seed oil in there, and then I'll add all my veggies into there, as well as my crushed garlic and this chili paste, and I'm gonna mix everything together really nicely, let it cook through for a few minutes to get a little bit soft. Once it's gone a little bit soft, I'll just push it to one side, crack my eggs in the other side, and scramble those through and mix everything together before adding in my rice. All you need to do then is just mix your rice into your egg and veggie mix and then add some soy sauce to the top and serve up. This is such a quick and easy meal. It's also so versatile as well because you can add in whatever veggies you would like or you can add in chicken, you can add in bacon, it's totally up to you. It's a great meal for just using up lots of leftovers in your fridge. So those are the four recipes that I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you enjoyed them all. If you want to give HelloFresh a try, then don't forget to use my discount code that I have popped down below in my description box, but I've just popped the QR code on screen here for you one last time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know if you give any of these recipes a try, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.